Yo, what's up guys, Super here. Today I have a highly requested quest out for you on the quest Regicide right here. It's already been started, but I have not started at all except that I've gotten the King's message. Now you can get this message, it's like a random, basically someone's going to appear and say that the King wants to talk to you. So once you get that, it's going to look like a King's message in your inventory. So it says, Suara Soup, you're in dire need, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, quest items you'll need are four balls of wool, a pestle and mortar, a pot, uh, rune axe. What's recommended to have a rune axe? Recommended to have a spade, a bow of some sort, a pickaxe, pestle and mortar, two ropes. If you have 53 agility, like I do, or if you have 53 to 54, 55, you need to bring agility pots or summer pies. Uh, around 10k GP, a prayer potion is recommended, about su two super anti-poisons, some food, obviously need some arrows with you, is recommended to have boots of lightness, and you need, uh, I'd say, 20 to 30 coal in your bank, you don't need it with you right now, but I recommend bringing 20 to 30 coal with you as well, so yeah, that's what you'll need, a ring of life would help a lot, and anyways, let's start the quest by speaking to King Lathis. How might I help the kingdom? Okay, so that was a pretty short conversation, but you'll basically you'll know you'll be able to go to the next part when this part's crossed off. So it says King Lathis has asked me to re-enter the underground pass. Now that the wall of voyage is is repaired, I'm I'm wait what is repaired? I'm to go to the ground beyond. Once there, I must assassinate his brother. I'm told that a group of elves there will assist me. Okay, so all the quest guides I basically looked at don't really show you how to get re get through the underground pass and I know that's something you guys probably want to see so I'll be showing you guys how to get through the underground pass again because I probably sort of dumb just to make you go look at another quest guide um, just to see how to get through there so anyways I'm but one part I'm not going to record is me getting to East Ardoin or West Ardoin sorry you guys should know how to get to the spot you guys all did underground pass so you guys are currently right here you guys just have to head straight through to underground pass right here so just keep heading west from the castle. You guys know how to get there. Hopefully you guys use my underground pass quest guide, or if you use somebody else's, that's okay too. But um, anyways, I'll begin recording once I get to, oh, there's my quest guide I'm using, to uh, underground pass. Shout out to Sal's Realm for being awesome. And I'll see you guys there at Koftik. I'm going to be doing the quest with, 33 kilograms on me so it's a pretty heavy uh, I'd recommend actually doing it with lower with like not as much gear on just because you'll probably fall less but I'm a rebel so I'll be doing it with higher because you basically need to kill level 110 later in the quest and I'm just going to be killing it with melee I'll probably just prayer flick it so anyways here's Koftik hello Koftik let's see what he has to say alright loser alright enter the cave once you get in, you guys are going to take the north path. Just climb over these rocks. Koftik should be in there again. Climb over these, now climb over these. Do, 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 do. Climb over the rock slide. Uh oh. And here is Koftik. You guys should use or talk to him. Hello, Koptic. And you'll get some damn cloth from him. So, here's you're going to need a, an extra inventory space, which sort of shucks. Because I don't want to eat a shark, but one second, I'm making a life decision. Okay. So, let's use an iron arrow. Oh, Lord. Use an iron arrow on the damn cloth to get a fire arrow. Use this fire arrow on a fire, and you should get an iron fire arrow. Let's go ahead and use one more. Talk to Toffee. Just keep talking and you get some more cloth. Use damn cloth on the iron arrow. Use the fire arrow on the fire. Alright, so you now have those two. You can go ahead and wield those somehow. You can wield fire arrows. Once you have two... What was that? I thought it was a fucking moving rock. Anyways, um, run up here. And you guys are want to 
shoot the um, fire guide at rope. Oh, shoot. Make sure you have your bow equipped. Don't lag like I do. Come on, then. What do you mean I can't reach that? I can reach anything. Mm. What's going on? Alright, uh, basically anything you drop here you're going to lose, so... Mm -mm. One second, I'm going to figure this out. Why can't I fucking fire it? Come on. Long range, maybe? Oh, there we go. <laughs> so you're automatic. Oh, shoot. Okay, you're automatically start walking once you fire the arrow, so... Anything you drop here cannot, you can't get back, which sort of sucks, but... Alright, there we go. So, don't worry about this lever. It means nothing. From here, head south. You can. You don't need that fire arrow anymore. Look out for the room full of blessed spiders and goblins. And you guys will now come here. Use uh, a rope with this rock up here. This ledge rock like thing. There we go. Da 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 da. Sweet. And keep following the path. <laughs> I somehow just danced, but sometimes my character, you know, just breaks down to break dancing. Climb over the rock slide. And who's this guy? Koftik. Koftik's gonna be here, so hello Koftik. Hello. Alright, so as you guys remember from this quest from this part, you guys have to make your way across this grid. Now the path is different for everybody, so it's gonna be a bit annoying. Basically, every time you step on a grid, if it falls, it's the wrong grid. You have to step on if it if you don't fall, then it's the right one. So let's say this one. Let's let's maybe we're lucky. Nope, I fell. If you fall, climb up the wall ASAP because you'll get hurt. So that was the wrong one. Let's try the middle one. I wonder if it's the same path as last time. Ah, it might be. Yeah, it looks like it's the same path as last time. Okay, so basically the path you use for underground pass is the one you're going to be using. I think it was this one for me. Yeah. No, it wasn't. It's not cool. I swear to god that was it. Okay. Somehow you uh, pop out of the ground when you climb back up. I think I guess it was this bottom one then. Alright, awesome. And... You guys, I think you should just pull the lever. And you guys can now make your way over here. So, you guys will be injured a bit. I'm going to eat a food. I don't know much food. It sort of sucks, but whatever. <laughs> Okay, you guys can, uh, you guys don't have to do that whole unicorn murder thing again. That was awful. Sad. Okay, look out for this. I believe you can get hurt here. Search old markings. It's a trap. I'll give it a go. Okay, so look out for that. These walls are traps. They can do a lot of damage to you. So look out for that. I'd recommend just trying to... Oh, come on. Honestly? Okay, sweet. There we go. Oh, well. Fucked up that one. Oh, fucked up that one. Okay, so we're low on food. That's not cool. Okay, you guys cannot climb down the well right away. So, that's a, a time saver. I, I doubt these crates have anything, but search for the hell of it, huh? Okay, um, let's head west. You guys don't need to do the whole crystal thing again, which is cool. So you guys remember from this first, uh, just pick the lock on here and use your spade on the mud pile. So you're going to climb down, you're going to end up in this hole. 
maze of uh, tunnels. So I'm just going to walk. Ah, this random lag. I'm going to cry. Okay, so here it gets a little tricky. Let's go ahead and cross this ledge. Okay. Um, okay, and now we're going to cross the sledge. If you fall, ouch, up, oh, I would fall. Okay, uh, I gotta find a way back up now. Oh, look at that. I didn't fall once during my underground pass quest guide, of course I fall this time. So, okay, uh, let's go this one. Now, if you have 50 thieving, you can pick locks. I'm gonna try uh, to pick a lock. I believe it's this one right here. Is it? No, it's not. Darn. All right, I fell again. I'm gonna record again when I get to this spot. Or I'm not gonna. I'm gonna get to this spot right here. So one sec. Okay. We're back, yo. Okay, we're gonna try this door. Right oh, those are bubbles. I don't like those bubbles. I'm gonna try that again. Pick lock. All right, you manage. All right, that saves us a little bit of time. So if you have 50 thieving, you can pick a lock. If you don't, just keep making your way th across the bridges. And um, simply head east, then south, then squeeze through this obstacle pipe. Whoop. Okay, you guys will now be the place where you murder your unicorn. Is this, are the guts still there? Oh, horrid. Terrible. Disgraceful. Okay. Let's go ahead and enter here. You guys will now be close to getting out of the underground pass. Not at all, just kidding. <laughs> Alright, uh, run north. And then... Ignore the zombies and paladins that pop up. <laughs> Just keep following the path east. If you talk to the paladin, they're gonna think you're a follower of Ivan, so don't do that. <laughs> that wouldn't be cool. So for this part, you need your pl oh shit. Okay, so I'll make sure to make a note of this in the beginning of the quest guide. I totally forgot my plank, so I'm gonna attempt to see if we can just step over it. Let's search. Let's see if we can just walk across it. Okay, we can walk across it, so you'll do nine damage, but if you guys have a plank, just use it on the plank. I'm sorry, I forgot that. You take nine damage, so okay, I am low on food. <laughs> not cool, not cool, Jagex. Okay, and you'll now be here. Go ahead and open the door. Okay, and you guys will now be in the spot where you had to kill all those like demons in Underground Pass. Once you enter here, head south. I totally did not bring enough food. Maybe so much shit wasn't required. Okay, I believe it's this one right here. But I may be wrong. I'm going to check down here really quick to see if there's another path that we can take. Alright, no, I think that's the only one. Okay. So, at this part, you're going to have to look out. Because there's a possibility you'll fall. Anyways, you guys want to make your way up on this uh, ramp right here. And cross. Pray that you don't fall. Watch out. There is, um, if you do fall, there's a way to get more food once you're down there, so... If you fall, don't be worried because you have some money with you, which is what you'll need. Good luck. 
I actually might do that to be honest, because I don't know. I'm, I'm not really feeling safe with one shark. Ah, so we fell. Okay, lovely. So if you fall, just go ahead and run south. If these things are aggressive to you, ouch, that would suck. But uh, just run south and run south, and then basically run to the uh, southwestern corner. And where you guys done the ground pass, you guys know there'll be some dwarves there. And I believe if you talk to one of them, he will give you some food. I think it's, uh... Col no, it's Cayman, maybe? Cayman. Salmon. Hi there, are you okay? No thanks. Yeah, yeah, okay then. Here you go. Alright, so you get some food from this. So I'm just gonna eat up. Okay. Um. So that's one way to get food. I'm gonna go ahead and get some more fruit from him. Just two more things, and I'll I'll begin recording once I do. All right. So I just got a bunch of food, and once you guys are are have enough food, nice amount of bolt racks. Just uh, click outside the fence to the west, and you're gonna send the cave stairs up here. And um, my stuffy nose. I don't really have a stuff. I I don't know. I think it's just a habit I have for some reason. Sorry if that gets annoying. Climb up these stairs and then run east. There's a temple you have to get to, and then run north. And then just make your way across this plank again. I wonder if th I wonder if this is a little faster. No, that's not. That's the witch's house. I'm sorry. Keep running north. You guys have to go even farther north. Come on, almost there. Do 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 do. So uh, it took me around 20 minutes to get to this part. So it's not that hard through the underground pass. It's just a little, a little easier than I thought. Or at least than I remember. You can drink an agility pot here if you want. Probably should, but... I'm going to save them for later just in case. Come on. I want to show everybody where to go. So uh, I'm going to record this again. If I fall, you guys know where to go. So There we go. All right. Here we go. We're finally here. All right. Let's wish me luck. I only fell once when doing uh whatever you call it, underground pass. I only fell once off the caves or off these planks, which is pretty cool, knock on wood. So, you guys heard it. So I guess I was pretty lucky. Pretty easy. And wish me luck on this one. Ah, oh, rough. Shit, come on. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to the spot where I just showed you guys. So I'll keep recording once I get there and actually work. Fuck! Dun 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 yeah! Victory. Okay. Okay, so. Once you pass that part, go ahead and walk over here. You guys see two disciples of Ivan. Two more parts to jump over, and you should be good. Let's pray we get across this one. Come on, come on. Yes. Alright, one more. Cross bridge. Oh, victory. Okay. So now we're going to run in here. Talk to Koftik. Hello, Koftik. All right, sweet. So here's the well. Right side. 
So let's go ahead and climb down the well. Lagging a bit, so sorry about that. Hey, an altar. Um, let's go ahead and head out this way. I think this is the right way. You can uh, recharge your prayer there. I have full prayer though, so I'll be good. Yeah, just keep heading uh, west out the cave. And once you're out here, you'll be in the lands of the East Africa. So, it's going to be a bit confusing. Enter dense forest. You can't do that yet. And you will be greeted by Idris. Hello, all human. And she gets fucking killed. And this guy will pop up. Yeah, that's me. Okay. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks. Thanks. I mean, teleport there would be cool, but thanks. Okay, so you guys are currently, uh, I'll show you on the Cells Realm map right here. It's a pretty decent map, so shout out to Cells Realm again. You guys are currently right here. And you guys have to make your way northwest to the elf camp. I'm going to be following this path where my cursor is going. To get there, so just follow where I go. Uh, so first off, we're going to go... Was that west and then south? So there's traps here, so look out. Always beware because they can poison you and stuff. So heads up for that. So we're gonna go kill a rabbit and take its meat because we love it. Actually, we don't need it right now. Sorry, rabbit. All right. Let's see. All right. Here is a. So you know you'll know you'll be in the right spot, as you can see on the map. Is a this this is a leaf trap. So I rec I remember there's a trick to this. Um we're gonna have to drink a pot. I believe if you run and click on the this side right here, let's go ahead and try it. Alright, sweet, we made that. I was really nervous. <laughs> so we're now going south and then west so I'd recommend walking through here it's a bit uh, confusing so but um, I'm a badass like that so I'm gonna run through this part all right so once you're here I believe you need to make your way past a trap so there should be a oh, there it is stick trap Let's go ahead and pass the sticks. You can get poisoned here, so look out. Ouch. Um, that might poison you, to be honest, so look out. I'm going to drink it. Uh, agility potion. Let's try to get past it again. Ouch. Yay. All right, we made it. We're going to eat our bread. Cool. And, and is this where the rope traps are? I don't think so. So from this point, you guys see a... No, 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 no. Whoa, what's up? I clicked on something. A big clusterfuck of rocks here. You guys, are knowing, you guys know you're going the right way when you get there. Lots of butterflies here and lots of bunnies. I'm going to kill a rabbit right now. Just because I think you need the rabbit meat for later. So, Sorry, bunny. All right, here's another leaf trap. We're going to go ahead and see if we can jump across it. Oh, we made it. Jeez, sweet. Okay, so you have to go around here. I don't think you can go through here. Look out for the bears. I don't think they're aggressive. So you guys have to go around here and then up here. Cross the log balance. You guys will now be at the elf camp. Enter the elf camp, and I'm a suit or a pot. I assume you're gonna have to talk to someone cool here, someone important. Lord, here we go. I'm talking to this lord. I'm your scout. Oh, okay. Check your quest log. Lord Arlos has offered to help me one of his help one of his trackers, 
who I'm to meet the Camp Towers located recently abandoned the embedding campus of the southeast or I worth asked that I help him of my or I tell him of my findings. Okay, this is the next part's gonna be a bit annoying because you have to go south to find the tracker, but he's gonna not believe you that you're one of that you're helping the Lord, so you have to run back up here and get a a pendant and then you have to go back to him. So it gets a bit annoying. Okay, so you guys are currently right here. Whoa, sorry about that. And you have to make your way down here to the elf tracker. This is pretty much just a straight shot down, but I will uh, record where I go. Oh, are you, are you seriously, dude? Miles. Come on, Miles. What is this? A sword. I think you just gave me money, to be honest. Okay, we're going to head south and then cross the log. And we're going to run back this way. Doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm going to leave a map below to the uh, Cell's Realm tracker thing I'm using. So Let's see if we can do this with 53 agility. Wow, we're getting lucky on these, knock on wood. All right. So from this point, it's pretty much just a straight shot northeast. Sorry, north, southeast, southeast. Hey, somebody else doing the quest. Hello. So let's go ahead and click over there. Lag a little bit. All right, again, look out for traps here. I believe there isn't going to be one over here. But there's the footsteps you need to expect later. So. All right, and the elf tracker. Bitch better be here. There he is. Elf tracker. Hello. Okay, so... I, I don't think it says in your quest log. Yeah, the tracker doesn't trust me. Okay, so you guys know how you just basically came down. Take that same path back up to the elf camp. So the only trap you're going to be encountering is the leaf trap. So basically just run northwest to get to the elf camp again and I'll begin recording once I get to the leaf trap and then get to the camp. Okay, so once you've talked to the king or the lord again, you should get that crystal pendant and take the same path south again to get to the elf tracker and I'll meet you guys there. Okay, we're at the elf tracker. Let's go ahead and talk to him again. <coughs> All right. Just keep talking to him. And once you finished, it should say, after proving that I was not abandoned, the tracker has offered his help. He has told me to search the west side of the camp for any trace of Tyrus's men. Okay, so you guys are going to be in combat soon, so look out. Anyways, from the elf, head a little west to see these footprints. Go ahead and search the tracks. You guys are going to be going through this place soon. You try to follow the footprints, but they're impossible to lead through, or to go through, so go back to the elf. You're going to say, like, I found footprints. And he'll teach you how to get through there. Sort of. So we're going to enter the dense forest. Oh, 56 agility for this part. Okay, so... Here's where you need 56 agility. Let's go ahead and enter. Oof. Okay, so you'll be through here. There will be a level 110 Tyrus guard that attacks you, so look out for that. Um, you can just prayer flick him, to be honest. So. That's why it's recommended to bring a prep up because of this, but uh, he doesn't look too bad. I'll be in recording in case I start dying or have any tips for you guys or once I've killed him. So, one check. Right, he's almost dead. One more hit, come on. Sweet. And he'll drop coins, which we'll take. Okay. Oh, he drops a, is that a bowl? Oh, it's my stuff. All right, I'm going to eat my meat pie. At this point, you're going to need some inventory spaces, so get rid of everything you don't need. I don't know why I have that raw rabbit, to be honest. Uh, we're going to eat this meat pie. Okay. So, 
let's go ahead and okay this part's a little annoying you have to get basically get to the Tyrus camp which is right here uh, you guys are currently right here here's tripwire which is gonna be annoying so basically I'm gonna show you you have to be a little lucky to get past it alright you will get poisoned at this part if you fail so yep there we go so you've been poisoned alright so we are now not poisoned okay then enter through some more dense jungle 56 agility let's quickly get through it wait what did it lower my agility not cool ain't cool alright I'll begin recording once I get 56 alright we're gonna try again sort of wasted an agility pot whatever do 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 okay so you guys will now be here alright from this part head west we're gonna quickly try to get through to the Tyrus camp because you need to enter some more dense jungle enter dense forest there's the Tyrus guard again come on come on come on come on awesome alright once you're here yeah, talk to General Hines. Hining, sorry, Hining. Hello. Alright. Let's see what their quest log says. I found the camp of King Tyrus in the woods. The king is in his tent as well guarded. I should go to tell Lord Arth what I found. Okay, so you guys need to pick up some barrels. Quartermasters in a tent. Okay, you guys see these barrels? Pick up as many as you can. I'm not sure if they respawn or not, but basically fill up your inventory space with them because you're going to need them. Yeah, they respawn pretty quickly, so uh, I'm going to go just begin recording once I get my inventory full of barrels. Okay, we have a full inventory of barrels. Let's run north. Drink that agility pot and quickly head back to the elf. Um, for this next part, I recommend, or I'll recommend some of you guys. Oh, there's some tripwire here, isn't there? No, there's not. Just kidding. Oh shit. Ho oh, tits. Where is it? Where is it? Come on, come on, come on. I can't waste another pot. No! Enter dense forest. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on! Okay. Let's see where that leads us. This could easily be the wrong way, so. Oh, here's the cold barrels. Okay. Sweet. Uh, we're poisoned, so we're going to drink a poison. Okay, so here's uh, some sulfur pool thingies. I'll basically show where you guys are right now. You are currently at this area where the yew trees are. Where are they? There's the yew trees. Um, we're going to see if we can fill our barrels in these. Can we? Maybe we can't. Corpse. Oh, that's not cool. Ew. Alright. Um, we need to get through to the other side, which means we need to drink another agility potion. So, ew. Not cool. Let's enter it here, here, and here. Let's talk to the elf tracker. Hello. <laughs> okay. So once you've done that, um, tell Lord Iowarth what I found. 
So south, you guys are going to need to fill your barrels now in the swamp, right here. So just click take tar. Yeah, I have my barrel right here. So fill as many as you can with tar. There's also sulfur, sulfur here, so you're first going to have a barrel of coal tar. And now mine some sulfur. Use it on your pestle and mortar. Get some ground sulfur. Okay, so I'm going to drop a couple coal tars, or just one. And I'm going to mine some more. You need some sulfur, so I'm going to eat this shark as well. And I'm going to bring four sulfur just in case. Okay. Okay, so, oh shoot, my mic. Okay. Um, so you guys have to head back to the Lord Ioworth guy now. As you guys know, once you're here, you simply have to uh, head straight northwest. The one trap you're going to encounter is a leaf trap. So you guys know how to get there. You did it twice already, and I'll meet you guys at the elf camp. Okay, we're here. Make sure you have an empty inventory space. Let's talk to Lord Ioworth. Okay, he's going to give us a book of bangs. A big book of bangs. So read through that. Okay. Check your quest log. Give me a book, maybe help. I need to talk to a chemist. Okay, so this part's a little long and confusing. You guys... And you have to go talk to the chemist. But you got to get a few things first. You already have the coal tar, and you already have the sulfur. You guys are going to need some limestone now. Now, you can get limestone from two places. Let me show you on the map really quick. I'm lagging a bit right now. Sorry about that. You can get them from the quarry up here where you guys did old rag and bone man. You guys can get it right here. at this mine. It's basically in between Varric and Canifus. You can mine it right there. You can also mine it at a spot in Turin 1, which is where we are now. But I don't have any inventory space, so I'm going to go mine it in Varric. Okay, so we're at the mines, the limestone place. Go ahead and mine these rocks with a pickaxe in your inventory. You should get some limestone. So I'm just going to mine like six or seven of these, so I'll make a recording once I do. Okay, now teleport to Felador, and you need some stuff to make this into quick lime, so I'm going to go to the bank here really quickly and begin recording with the stuff you need. Okay, uh... You need a pot, limestone, and pestle and mortar, so head to the furnace in Fally. And use your limestone on the furnace to get some quick lime and use that on the pestle and mortar to get a pot of quick lime. And now we're gonna head to the uh east bank and get some more coal and you we're gonna head to Remington which is where you guys need to go. You guys know where Remington is. At least I hope you do. We've got a nice little loading screen right here. So you guys are right here. Go to Remington right here. Head straight south. Alright guys, so this is what you're going to need to make sure you have your big book of bangs with you. Sulfur, pot of quick lime, and barrel of coal tar, and lots of coal. So I'll see you guys at Remington. Okay, we're at Remington at the chemist's house. Let's talk to him. Request. Shit, one sec. Um, what is and how to make that? What's quick lime? Need a third option. What's brimstone? It's brimstone or nothing. Okay. So, with my lovely lagging computer, the chemist read the book and told me to make naffa, quicklime, and brimstone. The chemist can remind me how to make these things. Head outside to this operate fractionalizing still. I'm going to try to do this as quickly as possible.
possible or as simple as possible. Go ahead and open this part up. Oh, I need to fill it, sorry. So, let's use our barrel of Quiltar on it. Alright, so, for this part you need to click on the tar regulator twice, and then this pressure thing is going to start going up. Once it hits this, the top of the green part, you got to click the pressure valve. So we're going to click once, twice, and wait for it to get there. Okay, now add coal. That'll start going up. Wait for it to... There we go. Now, when, every time it, it pops up, keep clicking. So when it goes up, click. Click. There we go. Distilled. So we got a full distilled thing, pretty easy. We now have a barrel of naphtha. So that was pretty easy to do. Um, basically, just make sure your click's right, and you will not have to worry about the naphtha fucking up. So I only used around seven coal doing that, so not too bad. All right, so we now have that naphtha. So pretty annoying, but we got it done. So now use your pot of quick lime on here and get some sulfur in here. We're going to have a barrel bomb. All right. I don't know if we're going to need this anymore. Actually, no, we're going to take it because I'm scared. Uh, I'm going to head back up to Falador and re-gear. Okay, this is what my inventory looks like. Uh, I Make sure you have your barrel bomb, of course. Agility potions if you need them. Uh, Anti-poisons recommended. Food, you need your ball of wool. Uh, your tinderbox, 6400 GP if you took a charter ship. And Telly to Ardoin if you can do it. Now, you guys have to kill a rabbit while you're there and then cook it, so you guys need your tinderbox and some logs. Um, I probably should bring a fucking axe, but I'm too lazy, so. Uh, but if, again, if you took, if you just teleported out and didn't take the underground pass option, then you guys have to use basically the same inf inventory you did um, when you started the quest. Just use all those items again to get through the underground pass, so. We have to head to, um, the farm and use the loom apparently so we're gonna go do that which should be in here right here I think yeah so open the door let's go ahead in here and let's go and weave loom we need some cloth Use your cloth on the barrel bomb. And you'll now get a barrel bomb with a cloth inside. Okay, so, bit of a blunder on my part. Uh, all the quest guys I was reading basically said that you could, you could teleport back to... Or you could charter a ship back to Port Tyrus. But you have to finish Regicide to do that. It was updated in 08 that way you could charter back during the quest, so you basically have to go through Underground Pass again, which sort of sucks, which I'm not looking forward to at all. So, uh, again, get your bow out. Uh, plank. Where's, where's Plank? Where's Plank? There's Plank. So... Let's see, you need your spade uh, and a rope. So, yeah, that sort of sucks. I was not expecting that, guys. Uh, I don't think I have a rope. I might buy another one. Okay. Anyways, go ahead back to the start of the underground pass entrance. And I'll see you guys there. Alright guys, so do exactly what you did to start the quest. So do exactly what you did to go through Underground Pass in the beginning. You guys have to do the exact same thing. And I will begin recording once I get to the elf place. Alright guys, so we've made it through Underground Pass. And we're now going to head to 
Tyrus camp again. So simply follow where I go to get to the jewels. I don't know why I said jewels, but I said it. What you gonna do about it? You guys should be killing a bunny soon. So whenever you see a bunny, take advantage of it and kill it. God, I'm a sick person. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Yay. Okay. When I'll be at the pool place. And I believe the next spot is over here at the end of the pool. Just to, I'm going to glimpse really quick at the, yeah, there's a spring trap. Okay. So, drink an agility pot, and let's pass. Ouch. Okay. Should be bunnies here. There's some bunnies. Let's kill a bunny. Sorry, bunny. Do do do. Okay. Make a fire. Whoosh, whoosh. Get your bunny. Use the raw rabbit on the fire. Cooked rabbit. I'd uh recommend not eating the cooked rabbit. <laughs> so I'm gonna kill one more just in case. Because I don't have an axe with me. And I would suck trying to get back here. It's always safe to have multiple. Okay, so now we got two. We're pretty close to the elf tracker. At the moment, we're currently... Uh, where are we? Right here. So we need to head a little more south to get to the footsteps. And then go through the dense forest. Past the, the arrow poison traps. Go through more dense forest. And the catapults will be right here. So, leg out. Okay, so the dense forest we need to enter is right here. I know where those tracks lead. Okay, here comes the moment. Uh, I'm going to wait till I have like 20 agility, or 20 runs, so I can quickly get through all the dense forest. Okay, let's go. Where you go? Turn around. I don't care about getting poisoned. I just want to get through the the woods. Come on now. Come on now. What? Oh, that's right. They uh they reduce your agility level. Okay, come on. And enter Dunge Forest. Okay, we're close to the catapult guy. So from this part, head uh, east. Or west, sorry. Here's the catapult dude. Talk to the Tyrus guard. Good day. Okay, um, there's a catapult. Let's see if we can use a cooked rabbit on him. Here, I cooked this for you. Yeah, no problem. Okay, now use your barrel bomb on the catapult. Damn it. Hmm. Catapult? Ah, that should work. Okay. Now we're gonna load on this bomb. And 
Three, two, one. Kapow. Death. Death. See ya, idiot. Good fight. Okay. So now, quest log should say, The catapult for us is a to deliver my gift to King Tyrus, and no one the wiser it was me. I should tell Lord Isworth and King to turn Lathis. Okay, um, we can now head back to the tracker dude. So, we gotta run back here. <laughs> and hopefully, I think these two jelly potions are what we're gonna need, so. Okay, uh, let's drink our agility pot, and let's quickly go through. Swarve. <laughs> now we're going to look out on these traps. Step over tripwire. Come on, come on. Oh, sweet. We did it. We did it. Come on now, everyone. Together. Together. Come on, let's have some fun. Come on, come on, make it through, 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 make it through. Victory. Okay. Elf Tracker. We are close, guys. We are very close. Talk to him. Hello. Okay, so we talked to Elf Tracker, and now I'll simply run north west. Remember, the one trap you guys are going to encounter is the leaf one. Head back up to the elf camp, and I will see you guys at Lord Ironanath. <laughs> okay, let's talk to Lord. <laughs> Deed is done. Okay, we now have Ironworth scroll. Scroll is on the seal. The scroll is unbreakable. <laughs> Has he a message to carry? You can allow the seal to mention to pass over the mountains. Okay. So let's teleport our ass to Artie. Make sure you have this in your inventory. And run to the King's Castle. You guys know where that is. I'll meet you at the King's Castle. So just run west from the teleport. On your way here on the steps, a uh, an elf is going to surprise you. Okay. Your Majesty King Lathis, your man did well. The path is now open for the Dark Lord to enter this realm. You will yet live to see Camelot crushed underfoot. Holy fuck. I had no idea. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Here comes the elf quests. Whew. Crazy shit. All right, let's run upstairs to the king. Here's the knight of our dick. Almost done, guys. What do you mean I'm already attacked? Just because I'm lagging. Okay, King Lathis. My Lord Tyrus is dead. Boom! Quest complete. 222 quest points. 13.75k uh, agility, 15k coins, and a quick route from Isafdar via Rondar. So, one agility level done. Anyways, guys, long ass quest, another hour long quest. And uh, thanks for watching. A like would be appreciated. Hope it helped. And I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace.